Hi, my name's Trevor Stewart, and I'm here today to talk you through the features of Takuchi's newest product, the TB2150R, a 15 ton fixed boom excavator. Training in at 15.6 ton, this is the first Takuchi excavator with the fixed boom system. As a UK standard, the 2150R comes with three auxiliary hydraulic circuits, two of which, auxiliary one and auxiliary two, have electronically controlled and variable hydraulic flows and hydraulic pressures. Moving on, we have heavy duty reinforced braided steel hoses. We're currently viewing the large sweeping single piece boom version, but also UK have a optional two piece boom. Both rams are fitted with load safety emergency shutoff valves or check valves. These are well hidden and located to avoid any potential site damage. So as we talk about the TB2150R we'll run through some of these smaller exterior features. We have five external mirrors, three on the blind side one at the rear on the blind side, one inside the cab. We also have five forward facing LED lights, two side marker and work safety lights. We also have high style LED marker lights on the back of the counterbalance way for better visibility. Also featuring is a HD high quality image rear view camera. This gives 129 degrees angle and a range of up to 15 meters. Fully weatherproof, along with a color display at the driver's dashboard. The LED lighting work lights provide excellent additional lighting in low light conditions. These are located on both the boom and the cab. So for the UK market, Takuchi supply 700mm steel tracks as standard. Also available are an optional all rubber track. The optional dozer blade has pre-installed control valve and piping allowing for an easy fit 442 system. Basically, four pins, four pipes, and two bolts for the control lever, providing an easy insulation if required. So we're here to talk about the Takuchi TB2150 undercarriage. We'll start from here with the twin speed travel motors. Now these have an auto step down function, like most of the Takuchi range. If you're required to turn doors or climb gradients, the torque will increase with the auto step down function allowing you to do that easily. Moving along we have reinforced anchoring and hoisting points, twin steps, centrally mounted track guides and also track guides on the end of the undercarriage. We also have triple flanged bottom rollers and to help with the smoothness of travel we have twin top rollers. Moving along now to the ground level service and access panels, all steel, all lockable panels and doors, allowing access and great serviceability for the valve chest and hoses. The easy access boom feed hydraulic hose system, this ensures a more rapid replacement time, ensuring less maintenance downtime and a greater productive output. So moving on to the rear right access panel, comes standard with dust screening for the ventilation and cooling of the engine. And as we open that we now reveal quite a few components in here. Firstly we have easy access to the hydraulic pumps, easy access to the hydraulic pump test points. We also have access to the hydraulic pilot filter, the fuel filters, the radiator expansion bottle 
and the eyesight gauges for both the hydraulic tank and the fuel tank. Now I'll talk about a couple of them features. First of all we have a 500 hour service interval for the fuel filters. The fuel pre-filter also comes as standard with a water alert system. So for any contamination in there you're going to get an alert system showing up on your dashboard. To the left of that we have the electric fuel pump. This allows us to give a auto bleed system for the engine. Quite simply if the operator should run out of fuel he will activate the ignition on and off three times for a 20 second interval giving a total of 60 seconds which then allows the fuel to bleed through and the engine to start and run. The pilot line filter, this will be initially 50 hours for the first filter change and then 1000 hours after that. So now at the rear of the machine we have a one piece steel wrap around counterbalance weight for greater stability. Incorporated into the one piece counterbalance is an easy to access engine oil filter and engine oil dipstick. Now this panel comes with a lock so it's lockable. Also has room for tool storage. Tool bag supplied by Takuchi. The engine oil filter along with the engine oil is on replacement intervals of 500 hours. Moving on to the final ground level access panel. Again locking all steel panel with integrated dust screening. We open this to reveal twin air filter system for the engine to be replaced every 1000 working hours. So we have the DEF or AdBlue tank, uh, 20 litre capacity. We also have the AdBlue pump storing the AdBlue filter underneath. Alongside that we have the refuelling suction hose. This is for the diesel tank which has an electric fuel pump to uh, extract from drums, barrels, bowsers, anything of that nature. Now this hose is 3 metres in length so it gives you plenty of flexibility for refuelling purposes. Moving on to the air filters, it's a twin air filter system with a service interval of a thousand hours. The AdBlue filter itself has a service interval of 500 hours. As we go further down we've got a twin battery 20 volt electric system. It takes us round to the grease gun storage area and as you can see also gives us great access to the air conditioning condenser, the hydraulic oil cooler, the fuel line cooler and the engine coolant radiator. All of which we recommend are blown out or cleaned out every approximately 250 hours. Double acting refueling switch. Left hand side operates the diesel fuel suction pump. Right hand side acts as a audible level warning for the AdBlue tank. So quite simply Press and hold the AdBlue refueling switch. We now have an intermittent zone. As you refuel with AdBlue and the level rises, the signal noise will become more repetitive until you reach a point where the AdBlue tank is full and then the tone will be permanent. Wide anti-slip step system with handrails gives easier access to the high line service points. Moving along we also have easy access to the diesel and hydraulic tank filling ports. From the high line service area we have easy access through the lockable lid to the engine oil and coolant filler points. On, we have heavy duty roof guard protection for the roof viewing window. We also have handrails mounted to the roof to give easier option for cleaning the cab glass. Fixed to the back of a manifold we have a simplified high point lubrication manifold system. The 
TB2150 Air is fitted with a well known Deutz 3.6 litre turbocharged four cylinder common rail diesel engine giving 85 kilowatts of power at 2000 rpm and an incredible 460 newton meters of torque. The engine incorporates maintenance free hydraulic cam followers, a maintenance free ribbed alternator belt, and auto tensioner. High pressure self bleeding common rail fuel system, along with a hydraulic cooling fan drive, which has variable speed control to maintain a more even economical engine operation temperature. It also comes with 500 hour engine oil and filter service intervals. It's tier 4 rated incorporating DOC, SCR and DEF emission control system, diesel oxidization catalyst, selective catalyst reduction and injection after treatment using diesel exhaust fluid or as we know it as blue. The TB2150R has a stylish, comfortable and roomy cab, fitted with both air conditioning and large heater as standard and a heated air suspension seat. Another new feature of the TB2150R is a twin speaker radio with Bluetooth phone connection alerting operators to incoming calls. Also enabling music streaming via Bluetooth alongside a USB and auxiliary import. From within the cab, the operator gets an unobstructed 129 degree view via the high definition rear view camera and display system. Inside the cab, we have a seven inch multifunction color display. It is very well positioned and easy to navigate around the various control screens. So as an introduction to the driver's operator's control panel. Engaging power with the ignition. Operators can choose a screen colour, blue or grey. A nice, clear, understandable simplified dashboard control system with one two three and four control buttons to navigate around the various functions so starting with your left or first button a simple press will reveal the rear view camera image again bright colorful hd image giving 129 degree of viewing angles Continue again with the same first button. Brings you to a selection menu. And if we, as previously stated, use the navigation central keys, we'll start with function number one, which is the operator's trip hours and service interval hours. Here you can make notes of your operating daily usage, and you can also make notes and reset the oil and water and hydraulic intervals. Going back, which is highlighted as auxiliary information, we will explain this later in the film. Menu or back button to the next feature. This is a screen control feature. This allows you to alter the brightness, the contrast, the colour, and also the measurement ranges for the hydraulic functions, the litres a minute, megapascal, or US gallons or PSI, all selectable through this control. Again, we will go back. The next screen we will display is the operator information screen. As you can see, this one gives the engine RPM, the engine and water temperatures, the AdBlue levels and percentage of blockage, as well as battery voltages and operating temperatures for the majority of the system. Moving along to the clock functionality, in here you can alter the date, time and clock functions. Moving on to the next feature, 
which is the engine and machine management system and warning display system. Now here you will find any error codes relating to machine errors or engine errors. You will also be given a brief description of the fault and reference number for conferring with the operator's manual. The final selectable item on the menu display is the HDMI system. Now as you will realize when you select this, a blank screen is displayed. This is a feature not currently used by Takuchi but will in the future give the option to attach HDMI devices. The next function which is highlighted as auxiliary information this gives you information for your free hydraulic circuits and what percentages you have them set at. Starting with auxiliary circuit 1, the variable pressure has a range from 10 to 270 bar and a flow range from 11 to 224 litres per minute. For the auxiliary circuit 2, has a variable pressure range from 10 to 230 bar and a flow range of 5 to 55 litres per minute. As we move down again, now to the more interesting auxiliary settings and preset functions that you can store. Quite a simple process. Select your auxiliary circuit. For this instance, we will select auxiliary circuit 1. Now, <coughs> with each auxiliary circuit, you can simplify it by having a selection of up to three attachments on each circuit. So for this occasion we will go auxiliary circuit number one and we will use a breaker attachment. Simply press the right hand button to highlight the flow percentage that you wish to increase or decrease on that auxiliary circuit. Now using the navigation keys to select either Pressure, attachment image, flow going to the left circuit or flow going to the right circuit. So for the purpose of this video we will choose circuit A on auxiliary circuit 1 and we will press the right hand button to highlight this and then the central navigation buttons to decrease this. As you can see, as I am altering the percentage, so too is the litres of flow. So using the operator's or manufacturer's recommended guidelines of the attachment you are fitted, you can simply alter electronically the TB2150 to suit your individual attachment. Simply pressing enter. You can move up, down or around. Moving along now to altering the pressure settings on auxiliary circuit 1 and the simplicity involved around that. So as we highlight the pressure reading and we enter the key on the right hand side to highlight that, we can now use the central keys to vary that. So again we can alter that pressure with just a simple press of a few keys. I'm meant to store it, the enter key. Moving back now, we can move down to auxiliary circuit 2 and do exactly the same with this one, giving a range variable from 23 MPA back in right down to 1 MPA. Altering the flow again, a simple process. Going from a maximum of 55 litres per minute, reducing the percentage range taking you right down to 5 litres per minute. 
A new convenient feature well utilised by operators, the auxiliary lock setting function, where up to four operators can save and lock their preferred auxiliary flow and pressure settings. I hope today's walk around of the TB2150R was informative and thank you for watching.